Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. This is Tripwire. About to do a little overview of the new Merlis Action 3.1.2 update. Just came out today. If you guys are curious, you can go to the website. I'll put the link down below. You can download the version there. You can test the trial out if you haven't tested it out already. Or if you want to buy the full key, I have the link down below. I'm an affiliate for them. You can buy it from me. I get a certain cut of that. It's very small, just a couple of dollars, but hey, every little bit helps, right? So anyways, the new Merlis Action 3.1.2. They've made it quicker to open. It opens faster. It's uh, it's not as impactful in performance. It's a lot lightweight, so that's really good. It doesn't use as much CPU usage as the last as 3.1.1 or previous versions did. Um, yeah, it's you can do your stream overlay, your stream labs. This is for my sorry. This is for my um sponsors donations and subscribers whether i get new subscribers and donations it alerts me here this is my chat box so when i'm streaming my chats i can see this in game you can set it up to do both in video so the viewers can see it and yourself can see it or just the viewers can see the chat or you can see it yourself in the hud so anything you put in this box will pull up for here and you can just set it for that it'll pull up for whatever option you choose here but these will pull up for only the video. So any of the other URL links you put in here, those will post via on the stream. So say someone does, a, I get a new subscriber, it'll post it on the stream and everybody on the stream will see it, but I won't on the game. Whereas if people are talking in the chat, I can see the chat in the game, but they can't see it. So it's actually real beneficial. I like the software. It's really nice. It's a lot better than OBS. Actually, this is honestly the best streaming software. I've used OBS, XSplit, Bandicam, AMD Relive, NVIDIA Shadowplay, um, and a few others. And honestly, this, I have to say, is the best one. If you don't have, if you stream, record, want great software that can do everything that you want it to do, this is the one to get. This is the most beneficial software I've ever used. It's stable. It doesn't lag your stuff out. It doesn't do all kinds of crazy stuff. I mean, it's it's what you want. If you're looking for a great streaming software that's real simple and real easy to use, this is the one to go with. You choose whatever. So what's cool about this is you can actually say, <clears throat> sorry, say you have NVIDIA and an AMD graphics card in your computer. You can choose It'll stream off whatever graphics card you're running, and then you can actually choose which, what, say if you had an AMD card, let's say AMD app. You can have it do encoding off the AMD app, so therefore it doesn't take off your NVIDIA graphics card. Or if you have a video capture device, you can actually do it off that as well. Say like a Elgato or an Advair Media Capture Card or streaming PC, you can actually use that as well. So, I mean, this is, this is great software. If any guys, you know, want good streaming software, that's, that works great and doesn't cause any kind of issues, this is the one to go to. So I definitely recommend it. If you guys don't have it, get it. You'll 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 thank me later. Anyways, that's it for the video. The links will be down below in the description and in the comments for both the download and the purchase. Also down in the description and the comments I'll put the fixes for the new 3.1.2 update. Anyways, thanks for all the stop by and watch the video. If you like what you saw give a thumbs up. If you could, please hit that subscribe button, and I will catch you guys and girls later. Take care, everybody.